Have you ever wondered how to effectively embed metadata in your Markdown posts? It can be a bit tricky, but don't worry. Today, we're diving into the world of Markdown metadata formats and how to use them. I totally get it. Trying to figure out how to include details like publication dates or authors in your Markdown can feel overwhelming. You're not alone in this struggle. Many content creators face the same challenge. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, is there a standard or convention for embedding metadata in a Markdown formatted post? They want to know how to include important information like the publication date or post author without creating separate files. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what are our options? Many people use YAML metadata format, which allows you to include various details right at the top of your Markdown file. This method is widely accepted and works seamlessly with many Markdown renderers. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip on how to make your Markdown posts even more effective. To embed metadata in a Markdown formatted post, the user can utilize the YAML front matter format. This allows for structured data at the beginning of the document. Next, the user should place this YAML block at the very top of their Markdown file. This ensures that the metadata is recognized by the renderer. After adding the metadata, the user can then write the main content of their post below the YAML block. This keeps everything organized in one file. Finally, the user should ensure that their Markdown renderer supports YAML front matter. This is crucial for the metadata to be processed correctly. Fun fact, did you know that Markdown was created by John Gruber in 2004? It was designed to be a simple way to format text without the complexity of HTML. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach for embedding metadata in Markdown is to use HTML meta tags. This method works well because most Markdown interpreters recognize HTML and won't render these tags allowing you to store metadata without it appearing in the final output. You can test this method in platforms like GitHub GIST or StackEdit to see how it works. Let's, let's take a look at an answer from another user. One alternative approach is to use YAML front matter with a unique twist. This user suggests embedding metadata directly in your Markdown file using a specific syntax. To implement this, Place the metadata block at the top of your Markdown document, ensuring there's no blank line before the first three dashes. This metadata will not appear in the rendered HTML. Additionally, this technique allows you to add comments within the body of your Markdown document, keeping everything organized in one file. Let's check out another perspective from a different user. One user shares an alternative approach for embedding metadata in Markdown. They suggest using the abbreviations feature from Markdown Extra. This method allows you to include metadata like publication date and tags without cluttering your files. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. One alternative approach for embedding metadata in Markdown files is to use a simple JSON object at the top of each file. This method may require a bit more typing, but it is easy to parse. The user captures the JSON and Markdown content using a regular expression, allowing for flexible metadata fields. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always keep your metadata consistent across your posts. This not only helps with organization, but also improves the readability of your content. And there you have it. You now know how to embed metadata in your Markdown posts effectively. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips. And don't forget to check out our next video for more Markdown tricks.